How long is it going to last? Right. Well, here's some good news. Tomorrow, the warmest day of the week. So nice. some areas will hit 80 degrees. Quite nice. We'll be off to a nice bright start. But really, our big story today has been a stiff wind. Right now, we have a sustained wind at 18 miles per hour out of the northwest at O'Hare. But what this is doing is really crashing waves along the Indiana shoreline. We have wind gusts now to 28 miles per hour in Aurora. They're gusting at 31 in Ottawa. So with that northwesterly wind component, it's making the waves crash crash on shore there in northwest Indiana. Now why so windy? Well we have high pressure over Kansas, low pressure sitting to the north, and these areas are close enough together where we create a tight pressure gradient. And that's when you have strong winds then coming around this area of low pressure, giving us that north to northwesterly wind flow. So that is creating beachfront hazards this evening right through 7 p.m. for northwest Indiana. The danger is for rip currents, the strong ones, and waves building three to six feet. Feet. So just keep that in mind. It's fine to enjoy the view of the water, but not the great day to be in it. Now, as we go through the night, the good news is the winds do relax, especially toward morning and skies are going to be clear throughout the night. So our forecast for the next 12 hours is super quiet. So even though the water looks inviting, you got to be careful of those waves. 73 degrees at O'Hare. It's 75 though from Midway. Joliet is up to 76 degrees. A little cooling there in Gary. 68 is the current temperature. Our western side Suburbs are warm, 75 in Alburn, and also Sugar Grove has 75. Rochelle, you have 73 right now. A little closer to the lake, we're at 62 in Whiting. The Loop is holding at 73, but a little bit of cooling here around the rim of the lake. Indiana Dunes, 68. It's 64 right now for Michigan City and 63 in Burns Harbor. So a clear night for you if you have outdoor plans through the night. It's quite quiet with the winds dying down. Nice bright start to tomorrow, but late day tomorrow. I'm going to watch the clouds move in from the west. and. Tomorrow night we could have a stray shower, but I'm thinking Wednesday morning is when we'll see the next rain chance really picking up during the day Wednesday. There's about a 70% chance of rain. So in the meantime, it's quiet tonight, 55 for our low, and then for tomorrow pushing 80, but with that easterly wind at 5 to 10, it will be noticeably cooler at the lakefront. Probably 68 there, 80 in Kankakee and Joliet. Also Portage, you won't have a lake breeze, 80 degrees. So here's the big picture. In the morning, high pressure gives us a nice bright start. It moves away. Here come the high clouds by 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Then we're going to watch a pair of fronts roll in for Wednesday. At daybreak, the rain starts. It's with us much of the day. But the good news is early Thursday morning, it looks like that system will move out of here. And it shouldn't bring us severe weather. It looks like we're going to have mainly scattered showers with with an isolated thunderstorm. But in the short term here, beautiful weather on the way. We will take every bit of it. Thank you, Mary Kay. Yeah.